And like you guys are like trying the things that the video shows that are opposite of what you told us, and then what you've now like told what is opposite? Today. Well, you said that it was funny, and you're yeah. the only one laughing. We were playing before that. Okay. Um, but then it stops. Yeah. It obviously stops being fun. Well, I because you're screaming at him, he's begging to get out. Not screaming at him. Mm, sounds like screaming to me. I I don't know what you all want to me to tell you. In no way, shape, or form was this intentional. At all. Ever. Okay. Are you still going to allow us to do your fingernails? Go for it. Go for it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to get that set up. <coughs> do you need any more water? No, but when you come back, can I ask about this? Mm. Yeah. So what? Just don't understand. So it was I don't understand how your story changes so much to the fact that how is it changing? Please help me explain. Understand. Well, you, you went on about how this was such a playful thing, and you guys were laughing, and it probably was for a few minutes. But then it obviously changes. The whole demeanor of this whole situation completely changes. It's not the funny, laughing matter. He's not laughing at all. I didn't think he was being serious. You absolutely sound serious. When I don't think so. Him. Like I just You don't think your voice you sounded it's, serious? It's okay. I I don't know what you want me to tell you. It was a great day. Okay. It didn't end well, obviously. I was gonna say that's uh I mean I can't explain to you, I can't explain to you how horrific it was. Okay. To find him. Horrific. Because I don't remember taking those videos. Okay. How horrific. Yeah. I'm thinking he's in the bathroom. I'm thinking he's downstairs in the laptop. I can't find him. Okay. So what? So what's <laughs> going to happen? Like, here's what gets me, though, is you don't remember taking videos. You don't know where he is. You don't remember him being in the, in the suitcase. And you're still telling me that you had your wits about you. I How does someone have true. their wits about them when See, that's the thing, too. But you can clearly tell, you can clearly tell that I had been drinking some. Yeah. You can clearly tell. I had several people that came up to me in that apartment complex said that you were drunk on a daily basis. And oh, you my gosh. And right. Regularly. Right. Um, really? Right. Talk to the property really. manager. Talk to the property manager. Okay. Because it's not... These are your neighbors, the one that live next to you. Your property manager does not live next to you. They see you every day. How many... Oh you had gosh. two neighbors you went to and asked to go see, to the restroom. See, that is just not fair. Said, no, hold on. You had two different neighbors that lived directly next to you. You asked to use the restroom, and they told you no and turned you away. You had to go oh. across the way to somebody oh. else. No, okay. Kim and Eli... Eli, or Kim is not a nice person. Okay. She's just automatically not nice. Even right. after me and Lucas went over there and introduced ourselves, she's just you. not a nice person. Then why would you think she would let you use a restroom? Because Eli was in there. Eli comes over and talks to us sometimes, which I think pisses Kim off because okay. he comes over and talks to us. The two of them, they're like super standoffish all the time. My neighbors down the street, down the way, their toilet was broken. They had stuff in the bathroom. So then they're bathroom. like, go over there and try over there. There's two bathrooms. I wouldn't let bathrooms? somebody go upstairs and use my, my personal bathroom. That's what the really? downstairs one is for. If it's somebody you like, would you? I, or somebody you knew? They're in the process of doing all this stuff in the kitchen. Okay. And there's stuff in the bathroom and the toilet doesn't work. Just walk across the way. No problem. Mm -hmm. And of course they let me in. Them and them, they're together. They're part, they're families. And nonetheless, if you really want to know, and I hope it doesn't get them in trouble, but he is over here illegally. So he's trying to work on getting his green card. What does that got to do with you using the restroom? They didn't want to be involved. No, no, no. I was asking last night because, you know, I mean, we had several different people Assuming in the neighborhood that come up Eli and that Kim. drunk on a regular basis. Eli and Kim. Eli and Kim. Okay. Did you ask Eli. Minnie next door? Those are the ones next door that she asked to use the restroom, yeah, and they said no. No, she said no. Okay. And like I said, she's not a nice them? person. They're coming. What are your okay. questions? Yep. We can help you out. Who's coming to do the fingernails? Yeah. You said that we could. <coughs>
And you don't have to allow us to do it, just say no. So don't think that it's I don't have a problem. Yeah. Okay. So make sure. <coughs> so am I getting my phone back? No. Not today. Um, what about Lucas's laptop? No. Not today. Not today. What does that mean? We're still going through everything. Oh, that's fine. You're the one just telling us there's videos that we need to see on it, so we That's need to fine. do our due diligence that we go through everything. See, and that backfires on me now, too, because now you all think that I had even more, in quotes, intent to do what I did then, which was not intentional. Okay. What's that? In that. Is that correct? She's asking about your tag in your hand. No, but I'm asking if that's correct. No, I'm not going to agree to anything that something. you're saying. I'm not that you're... No. So, his probation <coughs> officer. Mm-hmm. Do you all inform her or do I need to call her? We don't need to. We don't have to inform her, so if you would like to call her, you can. Are you saying because he's still on probation? No, but it, because of the nice lady that she is and all that she's done for him, I thought it, I didn't know how it was. Legally, we just have to tell his parents, and we don't go telling. We don't, Everybody else? I didn't even know who his probation officer was, so no, I wouldn't go tell So him. the same thing for classes? I need to do that, too. Um. Classes. The to do what? substance abuse class and his <coughs> battery yeah, intervention. Yeah, something else I'm just scary to ask. So, other than this, so initially, what was the cause of death? She is still pending because she wants to hold the body for an additional day to see if more of those bruises turn into something bigger. Um, and uh, she's doing some other tests that she's got to do. So she's pending it for now. So, and that couldn't have been because <coughs> of him being in the suitcase. Or y'all are saying she, that I physically what, did it. That's what she's determining. So the, the ones on the head, I, I asked her, could that have been from the suitcase? And she said she didn't think so. I didn't touch him, nor did he touch me. I'm living in a dad. Um, so I don't know if you all know how to do this because I. So that's what I was gonna get ready to ask you. So are you all updating his parents today, or when you get the final whatever's? What does it matter? Why? What we tell his parents? What do you mean? Because I. I we're gonna have. We're gonna talk to with them. Yeah. Okay, I, mean, I have to. But tell, it's going like, to come down to me. What do you mean? Like, so it's being put on me. Who said that? But I'm not. So what is it you would tell them? <laughs> We're going to give them an update, just like we gave you an update on their autopsy. Okay, so it's whatever bruise. Well, here's the thing. And here's the thing. Whatever on the head. We, we had to deliver news to them last night that their son was dead. There's not a whole lot of conversation that goes on after that. It's not a very easy thing Was it to yesterday do. or Sunday? Sunday. Today's Tuesday, right? Did we not meet you yesterday? We met you yesterday. Yeah. I'm just asking. Right? Did we not meet yesterday? It's a valid question. Uh, really? Yes, on Monday. Okay. 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 Got it. Perfect. So I don't know if I ask you guys or how I find this out other than talking to his parents, which is not going to happen. Yeah, probably a terrible idea. What, how do you guys suggest me finding out about funeral? Yeah. That's not even something that's been probably talked about between the family. That's not something we ask. We have no way of... You I know. didn't know, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. So it's going to be up to them to make their arrangements of what they want to do. Like she just told you this quick, just being told last night, I'll pretty much be willing to wager that they have not even considered what they're going to do. <laughs> My body can't even be released. No. So yes. I've been there with parents, grandparents, aunt and uncles. Um, so I don't know if I have the right to or not, but like I was going to call his former employees whom he really cared for and let them know. You can call whoever you want. I just don't want to do something that I'm not supposed to. 
um, how do I go about getting his um, wedding ring, engagement ring? It's at the medical examiner's office. It'll come to us eventually, and uh, then it'll, it'll be released to the, oh, to to the, the next with Kim. Yeah. Okay. I bought a swan. Okay. That is a civil issue. It was on his finger. It goes to them. They're the ones that are going to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. So for all of this, like, how do I find out what's what, how many, like, what's been found? What do you mean? Uh, pillow with stain, swabs of stain from pillow, suitcase. That will all be sent off to FDLE, FDLE Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Yeah. They do their testing. So, and then, like, whatever white can with blood and necktie with blood was from the suitcase. Okay. Why would you guys, oh, you'll see it in there, the baseball bat, for Lucas. And the feet. And this is just his phone, my phone, and then the laptop. Yeah, when anything can be released, we will release it, but we are very early in this investigation. Mm -hmm. and not so, an overnight process, unfortunately. So, what's next? They're going to come and swab your fingers. No, I'm talking about, like, in the long run. Like, what do I need to, like, do I need to be doing something, or, like... I can't tell you, like, no. what to do. I mean, like, so, like, for... Like, I don't understand, like, I don't know if you guys are just going to, like... Because it makes it sound like, to me, like... I'm being accused of something that was not intentional. I'm being accused of it. Mm -hmm. And a handful of other things that I'm being accused of. Okay. So I don't want to be at home with Lucas and you guys show up. Okay. I understand that. So, it's, we're still investigating. The word, I don't know what you want me to tell you. So, is there going to be concrete whatever it is, and then it's like, okay, this is what it is kind of thing? Or like, because I've done the whole court thing. I've done the whole <coughs> attorney thing. I've done whatever. So if I'm not admitting anything about being intentional and I killed George. Okay. That's not the situation, but it's trying to depend on me. Okay. That was not my intent. But it's trying to be pinned on me. So however or whatever it is I need to do in order for that to be proven, then I need to do so, which is why I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. Okay. So that's why I'm asking what the next step is other than me getting my nails swapped. I mean, you want me to tell you how to not be accused of a crime? Is that what you're asking? Like... I don't know what you I'm want. trying to prepare myself for whatever may need to be done so I can, I, I guess, stick up for myself. I mean, I think you're doing just fine. You came, you talked. I just don't want you guys to, again, show up and Lucas is in the house. Well, we did tell you yesterday that we don't want to do anything around your son, hence why you came to us. So I don't know why you think that's going to change. That and or me not just show up back home. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? That or what? Me just not show up back home. That's what, oh, he's so happy that I'm staying over the house with Brian. Like, so happy. And I'm not going back to the house, to my house, for however long I can stay over here because of whatever to blow over. Mm-hmm. And again, if you don't mind me asking, so for whatever it is you all are claiming from the videos, which, yeah, it's, is that what you're going to tell them? Like his parents? It's like, oh, yeah, and by the way, she did. Did what? I mean, what would you tell them? I don't think it really matters what we're going to tell the parents. Oh, yeah, it is. It's steel to the fire. Well, we can't hide things, and I don't know, I, I'm not saying we're going to go, <clears throat> I'm not saying that we're going to go and tell them every single thing we have, um, but again, this is the Orange County Sheriff's Office that's public record, so eventually, like, this all will come out. 